Hello everyone, I'm Narg Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this one, we're going to be talking about something that COVID narcissists always do. If that sounds good to you, please give this video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is nargsurvivor.co.uk. Covert narcissists always do this. This video will help you to identify if you are dealing with a covert narcissist. Covert narcissists are different to the typical overt narcissist, although they may share similar attributes. Overt narcissists are often very easy to detect. They will be upfront about their self-centeredness. They will brag and boast about their accomplishments, connections and material wealth. They will put other people, other people down because they know they can get away with it. They know that no matter what they say or do, people are still going to support them. But covert narcissists are very different. They are aware that they have to be very careful. They understand that most people are not going to tolerate their self-centered behavior, which is why they may appear to be shy, inhibited, and socially withdrawn. And as though they are distressed over their feelings of inadequacy, while they are secretly engaged in self-absorbed grandiosity, they crave admiration and importance. They wish they could be more like the overt narcissist, but they know that people would not accept them, which is why they remain covert. It's why they may appear socially withdrawn, but they also use withholding behavior to manipulate and control you, to where they may intentionally keep their feelings and needs from you. They may give you the silent treatment or avoid intimate conversations because they believe that to withhold is to hold power especially in situations where, the, where they would otherwise feel powerless and helpless. Which is why they will appear to be very private people, but in a strange and unusual way to where they hide and keep secrets. They won't share things that people would normally share with their family or friends, or with someone they're in a relationship with. Covert narcissists are very dishonest which is why they're so secretive and cautious. And people who are dishonest are very insecure. They are shame-based people who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. But by having information that you don't know about, it makes them feel powerful and superior, which is why they feel entitled to lie. They may also try to cause distance between you and other people so that they can manipulate the environment in a way that favors themselves and to prevent people from ever knowing who they really are, which is why their relationships are superficial and lack substance because they are incapable of emotional depth. So they cannot tolerate genuine affection or intimacy in a relationship and instead they will hide themselves and what they really think and feel. They are pathological liars which is why they have to keep you at a safe distance because they're hiding a lot of things from the past. And it's why trying to connect with a COVID narcissist will cause you to feel very anxious and uncomfortable because there is nothing of substance or depth for you to connect with. And instead, what you see is all that there is. It doesn't go any deeper than that. They're just simulating an action. They're pretending. They're doing things without any real enthusiasm or commitment because they don't think that it is very important. They don't have much interest in it, which is why you cannot connect or relate to a COVID narcissist because they're not real or genuine. They may act like they are, but once you've spent enough time around them, you will soon discover how dishonest and deceitful they actually are because they can only give the appearance of love or respect. They can only pretend to be caring and compassionate, but once you get to know them, you will realize just how unloving and uncaring they really are because they are not genuine. 
they just pretend to have feelings that they're actually incapable of experiencing. In reality, they do not care about anyone. They don't even appreciate their own children. They will say things to make you believe that something is true about themselves. But if you pay close attention to their choices and their lack of action, genuine care, compassion, concern and common sense in connection with really important issues, it will tell you everything you need to know about who you're actually dealing with. They may act shy and submissive, but it is all staged because they actually enjoy chaos and drama. They can't live without it. Which is why beneath their false persona, they feel entitled to behave however they choose to because they don't care what happens. They don't care about the negative impacts of their choices or behaviors. It doesn't make any difference to them. Which is why no matter how many pitfalls they experience, they will typically revert back to the same things that they were doing before because they didn't learn anything. And they didn't learn anything because it didn't affect them. But when they do experience real consequences for their behavior, they are shocked. They can't believe that they've been figured out. They can't believe that you didn't fall for the act. They can't believe that you have standards and boundaries because they're very delusional. They're not living in reality. They don't believe that they should have to suffer consequences for their choices and for the threats that they pose to your personal safety and healthy well-being. They feel entitled to do whatever they want, which is why they're so shocked when they receive a negative or unfavorable reaction or response, or if they experience consequences for their, for their decisions, the decisions that they have chosen to make, or by not doing what they said they would do, because they feel entitled to fail to fulfill your hopes and expectations which may then cause them to ignore you or treat you with contempt. Because those are their coping and defense mechanisms. It's how they cope and defend against their own feelings of inadequacy. But if you feel uncomfortable with how they're treating you, then they are very shocked and insulted because they believe that's unfair. They don't think that they can do anything wrong because they believe they're special. They believe they're better, greater or different from what is usual. When the regality is that it's very difficult these days to find someone who is not like them. So they're actually very average and ordinary. Which means that they are not entitled to the special treatment that they think they rightfully deserve. It means that they're not entitled to behave however they choose to. Because they're not special. There's nothing exceptional about them. They're just a run-of-the-mill person. They're commonplace and mediocre. But in their minds, you have no right to feel any negative emotions towards their foolish and unacceptable behavior. Never mind expressing your opinions and holding them accountable for what they've done to you. They spend a lot of time and energy trying to hide who they are by playing the role of the hero or the victim. They portray themselves as being kind, giving and generous, when in reality, they're motivated by their own self-interest they pretend to be good people, only to manipulate and control your perceptions of them. Their actions always involve their own personal or ulterior motives, rather than their altruistic generosity or goodwill. There is one thing that covert narcissists always do. Covert narcissists always play the victim. And yet, it's always to do with situations or circumstances that they've created and kept going by themselves. It's because of how they behaved. No matter how good something is, they will always find a way to screw it up. They will always disappoint you and end up hurting you, whether it's intentionally or unintentionally. And yet, they will always end up playing the victim in order to maintain their false image, to portray themselves as someone who is intended to be helpful or useful but not always succeeding as though they're innocent, kind or well-meaning. They always want you to know how they're actually a good person and how you've simply misunderstood them and their motives. But you will always notice a pattern of behavior because they're actually corrupt. So you will notice their loss of soundness, purity and integrity 
as they will show a willingness to act dishonestly in return for money or personal gain, while they are portraying themselves as a victim, despite how badly they have behaved, or what they may have done to perpetuate the circumstances which they claim to be a victim by. Covid narcissists fail to communicate clearly and adequately. They will express something to you, and you may accept it as it appears to be, rather than studying it more closely. You may assume that they're not trying to trick you, but then they will claim that they never said what they said, which causes you to experience failure or difficulty, and it also gives them the advantage by leaving you doubting yourself and feeling confused. But then you're criticising your actions and decisions, you're questioning your own perception of reality. And while it's normal to have misunderstandings and miscommunications sometimes, with a narcissist, it's always a pattern of behaviour. Until at some point, you have to accept what you're dealing with. You're being manipulated, lied to and gaslighted. They're deceiving you. And they are master manipulators because they've been doing this their entire lives. Which is why when you first meet a covert narcissist, they will behave extremely well and they will be very polite. Unless they've experienced a narcissistic injury or they're low on supply. But otherwise you will witness their false persona and their emotional manipulation to where they will try to manage your perceptions of them. Until at some point things won't seem reasonable or make any sense. Which is why it's very important to be able to identify who you're dealing with so that you can protect yourself and avoid any hidden dangers or difficulties you might otherwise experience. Because covert narcissists present themselves very differently to overt narcissists and yet they're also far more dangerous which is why it is best to avoid them at all costs. They won't appear arrogant, entitled or grandiose and instead they will present themselves as being shy, submissive fearful, compliant and insecure, as though they're not claiming attention for themselves, and instead they're modest, gracious and polite, and not making themselves noticeable or trying to get the attention of other people, when really that is exactly what they're trying to do, to the point where it causes them a lot of anxiety, because they're very worried about how people see them and what people are thinking about them. It's a fixation and even an obsession for the covert narcissist. It's why they go to extreme lengths to manipulate your perceptions of them. And it's why they become so bitter and resentful when they know they fail to convince you. Because they know you know who they really are. And when they know you know, you need to prepare yourself physically and mentally for something unpleasant because they will take it as an attack. So they will strike back. And because they are cowards, their preferred method of revenge will be to make other people dislike you by telling them things about you that are not true. Which is why the best thing you can do is distance yourself. Because anyone who is good or competent will not fall for the covert narcissist's foolish and unacceptable behavior. So anyone who believes them especially without even having a conversation with you, should be seen as a welcome loss or departure. And you should be pleased that they are gone. Let them align with the covert narcissist. They deserve each other. Because water seeks its own level. And birds of a feather flock together. They're well matched because of their qualities or actions. So let them fade from your life. They're not rejecting you, they're protecting you. You can't want someone who doesn't want you. So if they want to align with a COVID narcissist, you're probably better off not having this person in your life. They are never at rest. They suffer from a lot of anxiety, which is sad and pitiful, but they are very dangerous. They may appear to be friendly and harmless, but they're actually hiding their wicked evil nature in a disguise of innocence and goodness. They lack empathy and conscience. They lack the consciousness of their own poor conduct, intentions and character. 
They possess an unreasonable sense of entitlement and a false sense of superiority. They believe that they are more important or powerful than, a, than they really are. But these are internal attitudes rather than external behaviours. So while they may not be grandiose like the overt narcissist, they still have the same tendencies to manipulate, harm and exploit people for their own personal gain. Which is why you will always be in a more advantageous position if you stay far away from them. Because the most important aspect of it all is that they have a wounded inner child. We all have an inner child, and as empaths, ours may remain full of innocence, awe and wonder. We have retained that childlike magic and curiosity, but their inner child is wounded. So they experience persistent and chronic feelings of emptiness, helplessness and hopelessness. Which is why the more time you spend around them, the more it will begin to infect how you perceive yourself and how you behave in relationships. Because they feel no excitement or fascination with learning new things. They don't approach life with a sense of possibility and imagination. They don't appreciate the beauty and magic in simple everyday moments. Because they are deeply traumatised. Which means that they are not seeing the world through fresh eyes. They're not open-minded, curious or inquiring. They're not willing to explore and discover. Which means that they don't even have the motivation to heal. So essentially, they're really just damaged children. They're like the Chucky doll on the inside. Which is why they're very easy to identify if you get into a relationship with one. Because they're very envious, jealous, entitled and ungrateful. So they will bite the hand that feeds them and play the victim. Which makes them very dangerous to deal with, especially if you are an empath. Because you have the desire to serve and help. While they are negative, hostile, antagonistic and helpful, disobliging and obstructive. So they're only going to damage you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.